Like we can, as government vets, if we see, if we go out and, you know, you've called me up because you've got sheep head pressing and they've eaten a toxic plant and they need vitamin B1, you know, I can write you a script for to, the, to go to your private vet and get the drugs to treat. So you don't, you're not going to have to call two vets out, but there certainly are some jobs that people call, you know, they might have your yeah, one potty calf that's got scours and they'll call and that's not really a government vet job, you know, like we're better spent, our time is better spent going to rule out things like lead, um, foot and mouth disease, anthrax, ruling those things out. So that's when we get, get people to call their private vet. So any questions? Oh, how much should we cost? Very expensive. No, we're, we're, in, we're included in your rates. So, <laughs> depends how much you use this. Some people well and truly get their, mon their rates worth, well and truly. Other people probably have never called the, the government vet. And I think it's um, in New South Wales, you are just so, so lucky if you're a rate payer, to ha and we will, we will go see non-rate payers if it's to rule out an exotic or notifiable. Um, but you're just so, so lucky to have district vets. Plenty of other states don't have that service. And to be able to, um, you know, I went out to near Br Brewarrina today. So to be able to go out and help someone, you know, 250 k's from their nearest vet um, is, is a great thing for them and, and a good thing for everyone when I can yeah, rule out um, different diseases or, or find out what, what's the cause. And, and it's important for district surveillance so that then we can inform people of what is going around and what, what to look out for. So definitely give us a call. Um, there might be some times where we don't come out because um, you know there's only so many of us <laughs> for the whole area. Down, Sorry? They're not in every town. No, so I'm in Ningin. Evelyn's in Dubbo, oh, yeah. Gillian Kelly's in Canamble, Hannah's in Condo, mm. Belinda's in Forbes. Forbes, and Nick Cronin's in Forbes, and Alex Ferguson's in Coonabarabran. Mm -hmm. So we're spread out, but we, we do have a lot of other things as well that we, we do. It's not just, unfortunately, going out to properties, but we have to do a bit few certificates and stuff like that. But, but yeah, definitely utilise us. Mm. Yep. If we can't help you, we'll definitely find the answer for you. We'll try to. So. And a lot of the testing that we do is free as well. If it's, we have district surveillance budget. So if there's something really interesting, you know, if we've, we've got funky calves that are born without hair or like Jill, Jill did, my boss, she had these calves born with like scales, fish scale disease. Um, and she diagnosed it in two breeds that in the whole world that had never been diagnosed before. So really, and I mean, that's not a zoonotic, notifiable, exotic thing, but it's, a, it's of significance and of interest. So we definitely, um, we definitely do that sort of stuff as well.